In this episode, the Ingenuity helicopter finds eerie spacecraft wreckage, then loses contact with the rover. Meanwhile, Perseverance spots a bright object and finally reaches the towering Delta face. This video is part of a series documenting the Perseverance rover and Ingenuity helicopter every three months. It's Sol 359, and Perseverance finds itself surrounded by rocks. The rover turns around and looks the other way, drawing the same conclusion. More rocks! Upon closer inspection, some of the rocks turn out to be quite interesting. In this one, a large crack can be seen. And look at the layering beneath this rock. It's almost like something you'd see from a stream back here on Earth. On Sol 362, a hitchhiker is spotted inside one of the rover's wheels. This rock likely got caught in the wheel during a cross-slope drive, where the rover moves diagonally across a slope. It poses no threat to the mission and should eventually fall out on its own. The rover is now gearing up for its longest and fastest drive so far. Meanwhile, the Ingenuity helicopter takes to the sky for its 20th flight, scouting ahead for the rover and taking some color pictures of the terrain. The ground beyond the rocks looks relatively safe. On Sol 368, the team orders the rover to focus its camera on its own body to see the level of dust accumulation. These images show what one year on the Martian surface can do to a rover. Before departing on the long drive to the Delta Front, Perseverance takes a drill sample of a rock named SID. The team uses an algorithm called PRODAPT to control the amount of force and percussion. The algorithm ranges from level 0 to level 20, with the level increasing or decreasing depending upon the progress getting through the rock. SID required the most force of any rock drilled so far. Perseverance now enters the rapid traverse phase, aiming to quickly reach the Delta for its next science campaign. This map shows the route to the Delta. The rover will go up around Sayata and on to a location named the Three Forks. The rover's advanced self-driving technology allows it to think while driving, processing images on the move and navigating based on those images. After a little driving, the rover takes a quick look at the start of the delta. A small crater can be seen in the foreground. The main portion of the delta is located off-screen on the right. Perseverance is now driving faster than any previous rover and has broken records for the distance traveled in one day. It's making rapid progress on very smooth terrain and has now covered a total of 4.1 miles or 6.6 .6 kilometers in total, driving about one mile per week. As Perseverance nears the Delta, excitement grows here on Earth. If Mars had life in the past, it's very possible that we could see fossilized remains in the layers which make up the Delta. As the rover moves closer, the towering delta unveils its true scale. Climbing directly up the delta could spell disaster for Perseverance. The rover makes a brief stop to observe a Martian solar eclipse. The moon seen here is Phobos, the largest of the two Martian moons. This video is the highest definition observation of a Martian solar eclipse ever taken. The eclipse itself lasted a little over 40 seconds in real time. Scientists can use these observations to measure subtle shifts in the Moon's orbit over time, which can reveal information about the composition of the Martian crust and mantle. On Sol 401, the team at NASA spots something in one of the images sent back. It appears to be a part of the parachute that helped the rover to land safely. You can clearly see the red and white colored bands. On Sol 402, Perseverance looks towards the eroded eastern edge of the delta. A deposit of boulders at the edge of the delta may have been moved there by high-energy floods in the ancient past. The rover captures a video of its driving during Sol's 404 and 405, making good use of its auto-navigation. Perseverance drove approximately 1,700 feet, or just over half a kilometer, over both Sol's. 
the video is sped up by a factor of 200. This image, taken on Sol 406, shows a striking portion of the delta. The rover is expected to ascend to the top of the delta via one of two channels. On Sol 409, the rover photographs a familiar target, a rock formation known as Kodiak that we previously saw from afar in the first year of exploration. This closer examination provides a good look at the layers making up this formation. Perseverance has now completed its rapid traverse mode and is now in the Delta Front campaign. Geologists will investigate the boundary between the rocks of the crater floor and those that make up the Delta. On Sol 411, the rover is looking out to an area close to the Delta named Hogwallow Flats, and scientists spot something interesting in the distance. A bright shiny object can be seen tucked under a rock. For now, it's given the imaginative nickname Bright Material, and scientists hope to get closer to it as part of the planned route. The object is estimated to be about 30 centimeters long. Meanwhile, Ingenuity takes to the sky for its 26th flight and captures something truly remarkable. It's the parachute from the descent stage that we spotted earlier, along with the back shell. The helicopter captures 10 color images of the crash site from different angles. These images could help ensure safer landings for future rovers. For the helicopter's 27th flight, the Perseverance team asked if it could scout an area called Fortin Ridge. Ingenuity survey will allow scientists to compare the Flight 27 images with data collected by Perseverance to better understand the history of the crater floor and the forces that were at play billions of years ago. However, after this flight, Ingenuity experienced a communication dropout with the Perseverance rover due to a low power state, probably triggered by a seasonal increase in dust and lower temperatures from the oncoming Martian winter. Ingenuity relies on its solar-charged batteries and the increased dust in the air presents a significant challenge in charging the helicopter's batteries to a level that will allow important components to remain energized throughout the night. The team is commanding the rotorcraft to adjust how it handles its heaters to maintain a battery charge through the night. Adrian Brown, Deputy Program Scientist at NASA, imagined what Perseverance might be feeling after losing contact with the helicopter. He wrote this letter from Perseverance to Ingenuity. I have missed you, little one. We once were the best of friends. Better partners than Batman and Robin. Two metallic creatures of Earth, sent to this red wasteland by those tool-bearing monkeys. I protected you in my mechanical belly for more than seven months. I worry that I've seen the last of you. And then who will I share selfies with? Since we were built back in California and our fateful mission commenced, we knew we would have to part ways. But I was hoping for more fanfare, at least a parting handshake. I well remember that fateful day when you missed the comms check. With the lowering of the sun, your battery couldn't see you through the Martian day safely. So we had to park you in a sun-drenched spot and hope you'd come back to me as winter comes to an end. Luckily, just two sols later on Sol 429, Ingenuity re-establishes communication. Although it seems like the letter did the trick, it was probably a case of less dust and more sunlight, allowing Ingenuity's solar panels to gather more energy. Perseverance looks up towards the impassable Delta face, taking this panorama on Sol 437. Climbing the Delta will be tricky, and the team decides the best place to try is Hawksbill Gap, located here. On Sol 439, Perseverance begins its ascent of Hawksbill Gap. This is the most challenging terrain the rover has crossed so far. In the next episode, Perseverance investigates the bright material and explores the Delta. We'd like to say a huge thank you to our very first patrons. We really appreciate your support as it allows us to keep documenting this incredible journey. Find the link to join the community below. As always, thanks for watching Elder Fox. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. It really helps.